but today I just wanted to show you guys how to do some basic things in Silhouette Studio. And this video is inspired a little bit by Inspired Blush because she does make some of these videos, but from watching her videos and just opening up my own shop, I've learned a couple of things, extra things, that I can do in Silhouette Studio. I do also have Photoshop, which I know a lot of shop owners use Photoshop to make their stickers, but I'm not that advanced. I only use Photoshop to edit my listing photos and some other basic editing. Like, I can edit icons on there somewhat. <laughs> not completely yet, but... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I just opened up Silhouette Studio, and I honestly don't know if this is the latest version. This is just what's on my computer. And this is not, this is just the regular free version. I don't have business edition or whatever. I know Inspired Blush uses the business edition. So this might actually help some of you guys that don't have that software. Because I know she can do patterns and when, sorry if there's going to be a lot of breathing in this video, but I apparently don't know how to stop and take breaths while I'm talking. But I know that she has the business edition Oh, this is not the right one. She has the business edition software, so she can do patterns, and I can't. I can only import photos, kind of. I'll show you guys. So this is what, well, this is my old page template. I think this is like a really old one. I don't know. But this is my newest one, and I love it. Um, I know Inspired Blush talks about, because... The normal length of these is like that, and once you move the length down, you are going to have some significant problems with cutting, and the only thing that I see is that you're going to have to use a light to cut, whereas if this is all the way up, you don't need a light, because a lot of times these registration marks don't read properly, like it'll read my registration mark all the way up here on the mat, so then it cuts everything slanted. So just a little tip if you plan on changing those registration marks at all. So this is just my like page template that I use. But what I'm going to show you guys today is I will show you just some basic ways to edit. So a box in an Erin Condren is 1.5 you don't want it locked because if you keep it locked I'll show you if you change this the the height number is also going to change so it, it changes in relation to each other but we know the exact dimensions so we don't have to do that so 1.5 by 1.9 and so to create a full box I'll just show you the basics you're gonna want to do an offset because the silhouette is not perfect and it's going to miscut some of your stickers by a little bit. I like 0 .03 just because it's, I don't know, I just use that number. I think that's what Inspired Blush has used. I have used 0 .05 before, but I don't really see the point because I don't ever need that much room. So make sure you've selected the corner because it automatically shows the round. And you can't really tell once the offset is that small. But it's going to have rounded edges here. So you want corner selected. I'm just command Zing. I'm on a MacBook, so you do whatever you do on a normal Dell or whatever. Hit apply, and what I do is I automatically fill that in with a color just because you're these red lines, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. These red lines, let me zoom in more because you can't see them. So that red line right there is your cut line. So you don't want another cut line on the edge here. So instead of like having to re-click this because it's really hard just to click the outside, um, I automatically fill that whole square in with a color. And then you want to turn that line color to transparent over here. And so now it's only going to cut the inside square. Another thing that I found is if you group this together and then I'll insert a pattern 
just to show you guys. I don't know who this is by, so I mean, you can ask and I can find it for you, but I don't remember. If you group those that offset together with the inside box, you're going to have this like because it's trying to fill the inside and the outside box together, but this is going to be like offset from the inside pattern. So to fix that, you're going to want to ungroup both boxes, click on the inside square. Oh, it's so difficult to just click on one square. Okay, click on the inside square, go to the fill, and if you click transparent, did you guys see that all reverse the steps? And then, so it like matches the patterns up. So you don't want to have like your offset and your boxes grouped together. And that's just a trick that I found out through, because I was like so confused when I first opened my shop why that was happening. And so I don't know how I figured it out, but there you go. So I'm just going to delete this box and I will show you guys how to make a heart checklist. No. Um, I could actually show you guys something that inspired blush. No. I just recently figured out how to do this. Like, it's not the best, but like... Okay, so if you want to make a weekend banner, <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is click on this, uh, what is it called? Draw a curve shape. So you want to come down, if you want to make a curvy weekend banner, I guess is what this is for. Come down to a center point and then come up to about the same point. I don't really know if you can like make it the same point. And then you want to connect them. And so then you have this weird top thing that you don't want because you only want this bottom curve. And so there's an eraser tool right over here. And I'm going to click on the small one. And you just erase. Oh, wait, do I have? The, yeah, I have the wrong one selected. So I have solid selected, but you want the outline. Because solid's going to create another red line for you. But outline's just going to simply erase that. And so you just erase that upper line and then you add like your flags. I can show you how to make just like a basic flag. Like I'm not going to do the measurements just because I don't really want to sit here and like calculate that. And I, I don't like know it off the top of my head. So, <laughs> oh. And for these, you don't want that outline selected. You want the solid selected because it's going to, you're going to want it to cut like a solid line out and so make sure just the little triangle oh I used the cut you know what I'm not good at this because I, I'm not even explaining what I'm doing so I'm using this slice tool it's a knife and I'm not pressing shift or anything I'm just drawing a line from this edge to like wherever really I don't really like have a certain angle that I like but and then you just want to delete that little shape <clears throat> and then you come up here to the replicate window and you mirror it to the right or whichever side you want I suppose and then you just want to arrow over one you select both weld them together and then you have a flag and so then you just angle them however way you want if you want them to be over top of it and like to get this line thicker because I think like inspired blush might actually draw like a circle or something like that but I just go here I go to the line I choose black I think usually and then you could do like three whatever two I think I choose two and so now you have a little curvy weekend banner and you just insert text into these flags and then what you want to do once you have all of the flags put across here, you go to the select trace area 
and you just want to do that. Unselect high pass filter always. I don't really even, I don't use these. Low pass, high pass, I don't use them for right now at least. You just go down to threshold, increase that all the way, decrease your scale all the way, or to four, whatever it goes down to, and then you would trace the outer edge. Right now it's just doing the line because I don't have a fill color in it, so it kind of looks weird right now. But once you trace the outer edge, <clears throat> you can go here and offset it. So it'll like group all of these together. And you want to make sure that there's no red line on this and no red line on this so that it doesn't cut these out in addition to that. So that's how you would make a weekend banner. And I also want to show you guys one last little trick that I found and then maybe I could go into more depth with other things later and this little trick is a I think I have the right one let me make sure yeah draw smooth freehand so you want to select this and I'm using my trackpad on my Mac right now so it's not going to look very good but you can like actually draw things um, I'm trying to draw a bow right now, but it's not going to look very good, like I said, because I don't even know what a bow looks like, really. But, and so it kind of like, um, it ha they have the little holes on the inside too, right? Oh god, that, that looks bad. But it kind of like smooths it out for you, whereas if you drew with this, it's just going to be like, it might connect it for you like it just did, but... It's just like your own hand, your own writing, but this one is like, it's actually going to make a shape kind of for you. And so what I've done with that before, I've never, I've tried drawing a bow, but it never looks right. So I guess I'll just have to work on that. But you can draw an arrow, like a curly arrow. And what I like to do for the top is I'll draw one side like that and then I'll click on it maybe make it bigger because that one looks like it needs to be bigger click on it mirror it below and then it's perfect so then you could be like type out some text whoops and point to the text like if you wanted to show what a sticker was for you could have the sticker here and then it's gonna be like a description like some people have like the two Aaron Condren flags down here and then they'll like put the description of what those flags are for over here so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial just showing you some basic tips and tricks for how to use the Silhouette Studio. And if you guys did enjoy, let me know what other videos you would be interested in seeing in this series. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.